Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to talk about uh, a use case that uh, many of you will definitely encounter or maybe you have already encountered if you are doing something with Jira software, especially Jira uh, scrum boards. Now in Jira scrum boards, you have sprints, right? And these sprints can be associated or I should say an issue can be associated to a sprint. When you add a, when you add an issue to a sprint and when the sprint closes, you have the option to move that particular issue to the next sprint. So one issue can move from one sprint to another sprint. Now this is of course, you know, fine. And when you look at the sprint field in Jira, it will also show you the uh, sprint or sprints uh, or the previous sprints where this particular issue was part of right so in this in this case if you look at this particular story uh, i'm looking at uh, this particular story where the field is uh, you know showing me that this is uh, this story is part of sprint three now imagine a situation where uh, you have done the work but for some reason you forgot to add the story or any issue to a sprint and the sprint is closed. So so the so the ask is that after the sprint has been closed, how do you add issues to it? So you can't easily. There is a way. So if, for example, if you look at this particular board, where uh, if you go if I go to the report section, I do have this uh, burn down uh, chart, you can then take a look at the sprints in this particular uh, board. So we have sprint one, which is, uh, I believe a closed sprint. And then we have sprint two, and we also have sprint three, right? So you can also take a look at the sprint report, by the way. So it says, you know, sprint one is closed, sprint two is closed, and sprint three is uh, active. So the, the requirement is that we want to add this story to sprint one let us say right i want to update uh, this sprint so in this case uh, the active only the active sprints are shown for example uh, you you can see here that all the active sprints are in the uh, like in the list but not only the inactive ones or the ones that are uh, probably closed in the past so if you look at this particular field again it will show you only sprint three now the way to do it is basically using bulk update feature. And for doing this, you need a few things. So the first thing that you might need is, I mean, the only thing that you need is basically the sprint ID. So just go to your, so let us say I want to update here sprint one, right? So that is the uh, requirement. I want to have sprint one listed here uh, because sprint two was already there in like, because the sprint is closed, but we want to update sprint one. Right, just an example. Now for doing this, you need to go to, you need to figure out the sprint ID. Now if you click on the, I mean, let, let us say if you're able to find the link to the sprint, it will tell you in the URL that this is sprint 48, which is sprint two, or you can go to sprint one, it is sprint 49. So this number is important, right? And we need to, we need this number. Now then the next thing that you, you need to do is you need to find, like you need to basically perform a bulk of, update. Now you can do it for one issue or multiple issues. I think uh, uh, you you have the option, but the bulk update is what you need to do. So, so SSP 10 is the issue where I want to update uh, basically the sprint. And uh, you can basically click on this particular, uh, if you go to the board, click on SSP 10, and you will find the option here uh, to uh, perform bulk update not not like this but uh, i think this will also yeah this, this will also work because it, this is like apart from the jira bulk update feature which, which is there from which you, you which you can find in the issue navigator let us see if this this works so i think i want to update the sprint i am not sure if we can update it from here let us see so sprint um, no it is only showing us the it is only showing us the uh, uh, active sprint. So we need to go to the issue navigator and uh, we're doing it for SSP 10. Come on, I'm trying to 
go to issue navigator and then uh, I will perform here the bulk update so you can do here key is equal to FFPA 10 and of course we just have one issue but uh, it's okay bulk change and then uh, select next and then we need to edit the issue and then you need to find out the sprint field which is uh, here and then type in here the the the, the number sprint uh, number or, or id so you can say here 49 and uh, click on next and then click then click on confirm and uh, let us wait for it to finish i think it is still doing something taking some time but okay i think now it is done now you can go back to your ssp 10 and if you now look here you should find uh, the field which is sprint field where is it come on come on sprint 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 yeah so now you can see sprint one is the is the field which we have just updated i mean the sprint and you can take a look in the history so sprint was changed here so i know it's a very simple thing but uh, not every not every day you will be uh, i mean it depends ideally you should not you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing it but sometimes you know in jira i, I think you know, it again goes back to the uh, to, to the practice of keeping your jira up to date i know that sometimes people do some work in excel and uh, they then work on excel they come back to jira they do, they do their updates uh, and maybe if by mistake it happens i mean you can use this uh, functionality bulk update functionality the bulk update can also be performed i think now on jira cloud using the feature that you have right within your board but that is uh, that didn't work in this case which is fine because now we know how to do it like if, if you're doing this bulk update feature i think you also also need to have permissions so if you go to your uh, just ask your uh, jira admin and uh, there is a permission called as uh, come on control k and then i need to use permissions global permissions and then uh, there is a permission for uh, bulk update yeah make bulk changes so sometimes this bulk make bulk changes or bulk edit feature bulk edit functionality global not functionality the feature to 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 perform bulk change uh, it might it may not be assigned to jira users so just check with your jira admin and uh, if you are sure that you have the permission or if you are not able to or if you are able to see this option then of course you can perform the change all right that is it i know a simple thing but uh, i hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye